hey, now I would like to show you how to create a widget with a table on the dashboard uh, with all the things from one product. And that you can have columns, okay, and visualize um, the, the columns in real time with data in real time of these devices, okay? So click Add Widget. Okay, let's say Table. And click as well Product. Uh, okay, the tracker. And now we click Table in real time because we want to have um, the resources change in real time. Okay, what resources we want to display? That means what columns do we want? So left column will be the name of the device. Uh, next to the name will be the last time we have seen this device uh, sending data to the to the things I/O, and then from here we need to define uh, the next um, column. So let's say, for example, that I want to showcase temperature. So as before, uh, you have to type the resources. So you need to learn uh, the resources that you have and how you store the the, you know, the resources. Okay, in case that one of the devices don't have this resource, it will be empty. Okay, uh, you can change actually the name of the column. So we can say temp and introduce a unit. Okay, and let's say status. Okay, status. Um, in case that you have a lot of devices or, or a specific amount of devices, so you can define the, the number of rows that you have. In this case, we have 50 devices. So let's say that, I, that we would like 15. We can have a download. Okay, in case that we want to download the data, let's say yes. Let's say that um, that we want to search uh, devices. Filter by tag, we, we want to talk about that later and the inside dashboard as well. So it's done. So in this case, oops, let's edit the dashboard. And here we have, okay, we have this widget. As I said before, with this button, you can download the data. Uh, with this one, we, we you can search, so let's say 25, or the number one, well, all with the one to number 10, okay? So this is um, actually how this works. Okay, have a good day.